This is Nate with Energy Smart Home Performance, and uh, I just want to show you a typical knee wall. A knee wall is any attic, uh, or any wall rather, that has an attic on the other side of it. So right over here, this is a two-story family room, and uh, uh, you notice how you can see the fluffy stuff of the fiberglass here. That does not perform well. The fiberglass tends to let some air flow through it, so the air travels up through it and its R value drops substantially. Also, a lot of this stuff is not uh, actually applied against the drywall, so its R value is essentially zero. There's, there's an air pocket that's running up underneath there. Um, so that's an issue. It's better to cover this or to switch to a different product like foam. Um, and then also, when you start doing some hunting, take a look at this spot down here. There was a piece of fiberglass, this one here, in here, and then down there's this big hole and it's nice and toasty in here right now um, and uh, there's a bunch of air leakage down there I can tell from uh, all the fiberglass around here is a little bit gray like that right there um, it's just a bunch of gray fiberglass which is a sign of air leakage um, and this is not a really easy thing to hit I mean all you can do is go dig um, but uh, uh, these are some of the tricky parts of new walls in newer homes and uh, in this case, I think this is a huge contributor to ice dams on the front part of the house. So you can see this is the main roof line, and then it switches down to a less steep one that goes over the front porch, and this whole area gets lots of ice. So uh, uh, doing the diagnosis, and I found all this stuff. Thanks for watching. This is Nate with Energy Smart Home Performance.